been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. This is the uh, 34 gallon nano that I have going on. When I started this tank, I started off with the uh, you know bare bottom dry rock. I pitted a bottle of that uh, instant cycle that I have in the video. I forgot the name of the brand. Um, I had some clownfish in here later on. I didn't introduce them to the tank right away, but uh, both of the clownfish died. Then I waited for a while and I got two more clownfish. They did good. Then those guys died. So then I decided to go ahead and add some uh, bag of 20 pound uh, Fiji pink sand, live sand actually. And hopefully that uh, bacteria will be in there. And I'm going to go ahead and introduce these uh, three green chromis into the tank and then see how they do with my system. When I added these uh, fish into the tank, they seem to do all pretty good um, one of them didn't wasn't really uh, eating I had put some garlic drops on it the garlic is supposed to um, make the fish have a strong appetite one of those guys ended up dying uh, the next day then slowly after that uh, these three fish were totally gone so since then in my tank I haven't had any more um, fish in it uh, just threw a couple of corals in there um, my skimmer that I had picked up the pump needed to be replaced, so I was running with the tank without a skimmer. This was after the fact that all my fish had died. And then I added this one. This is the uh, Aqua Sea Romora. It's one of my first skimmers. Um, kept this thing around because I knew I was going to have a nano later on. But uh, I probably will f just get a replacement pump for the uh, eBay skimmer that I have. And then use this one for like a standby skimmer which it's rated up to 75 gallons, so it should be okay for this tank. Now, I've been without fish for a while. That's why I really haven't done any uh, any type of updates on this tank. But uh, what I've been doing, instead of buying some of that Dr. Tim's one and only, I've just been using the five gallon water changes that I do from my main display, the 120. I use that five gallon of old water, dump it into here, and then I've put the new water into the 120, and I've just been doing that. I did this tank right here has about uh, 15 gallons from my main display, so I mean it should be good now. I'll probably wait a little bit longer. I did the whole throw the shrimp in there and supposed to get a cycle, or I've done all that, but I'm just gonna go ahead and play it safe because as you know, um, it's better just to take your time than to be rushing into it. So. As far as uh, corals now, I have a few corals in here, um, not as many as I do in the main display obviously, but I, I have like some zoanthids that I've cut up and the little thing of frog spawn. So I mean it's not a whole lot going on with this tank, but uh, eventually as my frags start doing good in the 120, I'll just frag it and then start throwing my corals up in here. I'm still trying to find the sweet spot for my corals, try to dial in these lights. I think that maybe the intensity is a little too high. Um, right now I have a mirror to my main display tank, but I do need to make some adjustments, lower down the intensities a little bit. Some of my uh, pallies are doing okay and then some of them aren't. The uh, frog spawn and then the GSP for sure, the GSP is not happy in the tank. Not sure if it's because of the light or if it's a, a matter of flow. Um, the flow, I bought a WP25. I pretty much had to turn it all the way down because with it just being turned up in a medium mode, um, it was just blowing the sand all the way, all over the place, and that was annoying. So since I didn't really have any fish, I, you know, I dialed them all the way down. The uh, skimmer, it's doing pretty good. This is about two weeks worth of uh, skim mate. And what I like, and I've always liked about this skimmer, is that it's uh, very quiet and pretty much just set it and forget it and you don't have to really worry about it. I also ended up making screens for both the 120 and this tank. I mainly put the screen on this tank because uh, we fly those little remote control helicopters in the house and uh, a few helicopters have uh, crashed and landed on that screen so gotta keep the remotes out. Uh, take a look at some of those zoanthids right there. They're doing okay. Um, they don't look that good in the video but like in person they're a little bit better and um, but to tell you the truth guys that's all I've been going on with this tank uh, I will start uh, doing better with this tank hopefully soon 
and then uh, I'll start to uh, wait a couple more weeks and then see if the um, fish will make it okay and then I'll start going with the uh, more corals more frags of my corals and stuff like that anyways guys thanks for watching guys take care like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching guys have a good one